for the day with them people at work. <laughs> this wine tastes so good, I can drink this like it's water. I'm sorry for if my lips is <laughs> dry and ashy, baby. It's cold as a motherfucker outside. So I'm in the car right now, y'all, because I need to run to the store before I go back in the house. I went to my neighborhood gym, but y'all, I'm starting to realize that I'm not as motivated when I'm in the neighborhood gym versus the big gym, like One Life. And the reason I ain't go to One Life, y'all, is because I ain't pay my bill. <laughs> Y'all, I did not pay my bill yet, so I already knew they was gonna try to stop me at the door. I ain't got time for all that shit. If anybody wanna pay my um my gym bill, you could just cash at me. <laughs> Seriously though, y'all. So I had to run to the store real quick, y'all, but I think that um it's gonna honestly be a little pushing it because it's already 8:20 and I clock in at 9 o'clock. So I don't know if I have enough time. But hopefully y'all like my little um my little morning little whatever that was in the beginning. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm letting the car warm up and I guess I just check in with y'all after I get back in the house and take my shower and probably around breakfast time, y'all. And I also had to update y'all with my eating schedule this week cuz baby, we go on vacation on Friday. Yeah. We go on vacation on Friday, baby, because we got to be snatched this week, girl. We we ain't cheating this week. We eating healthy, and we working out every day this week, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> y'all, yeah, I feel like I look so crazy. <laughs> but I'm at work now, so what is it? 1030. I'm also watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith, y'all. I've actually never seen the movie before, which is crazy to me because it's an old movie, but I've never seen it before. Um, I'm not eating breakfast until 12 because I'm doing intermittent fasting. So yeah, I'm eating from 12 to 8. So I guess I catch up with y'all. Usually around about 12, I'm going to my 15 minute break anyway. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make, but in the meantime, I'll be working, I'll be watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and then I'll be drinking um, my chlorophyll water. So, I will check in with y'all on my first 15 minute break. <laughs> y'all, it is definitely time for my hair to be washed. I cannot wait till Thursday, but this is how it's gonna look until then. Anyway, I'm on my lunch break, y'all, so I only got a 15 minute break. I'm gonna make some tuna real quick with two rice cakes and Probably a kabucha, so let's make that real quick. So this is what I'm gonna eat. Usually I do crackers, but of course I'm cutting back this week. So I got two rice cakes, two pickles. This is already a flavored tuna, so that's why I didn't season it that much. And I would usually add an egg in here, but I don't have no egg. And then this is the cayenne cleanse kabucha that I tried yesterday. So I'm just drinking the rest of it. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for my first meal. I am so hungry. Mm. Mm. So I got five more minutes, which we're not busy right now. So even if I um, go back, I probably won't, you know, receive no call. What's up? Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good. 
it's like sweet but then you got the tuna I usually put some cream cheese on my rice cakes which is another snack I like to do I need to make like a whole video of like healthy snacks or like another what not eating today like I need to do more why I eat today videos because I don't eat the same thing every day y'all I be having I be mixing stuff together and it be still healthy but it be good mm. This kabucho, bus. It's kind of strong because it is a cayenne, it's cayenne flavor, but it is um, a bubbly probiotic tea. If you know, you know. But yeah. Anyway, I'm about to go back on. Uh, I got a few minutes left, so I'm about to go back to work. Mm. I either see y'all on my lunch break, probably gonna eat again, <laughs> or I see y'all when I get off of work. Peace. About time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I am free from work. I didn't I didn't put on a sweatshirt, y'all, because I got cold, but y'all look at my hair, man. Where's Thursday? Where's Thursday? Anyway, y'all. Okay. I'm off of work and I got some things I actually wanted to do. First and foremost, y'all. The day was hard. I ain't gonna hold y'all. The day was really difficult. Like they was getting on my motherfucking nerves today. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm sorry, but baby. Maybe that's why my hair looking like this, because they didn't stress me out today, so bitch need a glass of wine, okay? I need a glass of wine, so we about to go in the um, kitchen in a minute, but I wanted to come in here real quick to add like a little bit of oil to my head, because my hair is looking crazy, y'all, so, you know, just kind of like fluff it up a little bit, make it look a little, you know, a little decent. I don't be putting no heat on my hair, y'all, when um I don't got it, when I got it like this in my shortcut, because... I don't know. I just don't even want to do nothing to my hair. Like, it's healthy. You know, it's, it's, it's just going to have to do what it do. You know, play around in it a little bit. I went to the gym today, so, you know, I'm kind of like a little fur. I feel like I look like a little chicken, but we're going to make it work. But anyway, let's go in the kitchen, y'all. Pour us a glass of wine, baby, because, baby, this what I wanted to do today with the people at work. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Let's go. Lego. Yellow model cheese. Yellow model sipping. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow top missing. <laughs> Damn, get the fuck off the. Oh shit. Okay, y'all. Alright, we out. First of all, y'all, y'all don't judge me because I still got my Christmas tree up. Like. <laughs> oh, I got a little Grinch man down there. But y'all, I really still got my Christmas tree up. Like. It's not even that I'm in the Christmas spirit anymore. Like, I don't need to let the lights come on. But I don't feel like taking it down. I'm going to leave it up until I move. So, if y'all be seeing a Christmas tree in my background, y'all need to just mind y'all business, okay? Don't be judging me out here, okay? We still keeping it cute. It's still intact, though. Ooh. I swear, it's almost like dishes in the sink every damn day. Like, that's the only thing about cooking. Like, God damn. I need to do like some meal prep, y'all, because I ain't did meal prep in probably like a few days now. But, and y'all, I still got Christmas decorations right there too, so don't be judging me, okay? Also, y'all, I wanted to tell y'all too, if y'all see these water bottles over here, just mind y'all business. <laughs> because basically what it is is this is like some leftover chlorophyll water this is detox um water and then this is just a regular water bottle but i leave them right here because it's easier for me to actually just grab them and go and if y'all want to know what the detox water is let me show y'all real quick oh i don't know if y'all remember me talking about this tea probably a while ago but i still had some and it actually works i just don't drink it every single night but I do do one pack and then I just let it sit there until whatever morning I want to drink it. And yeah, y'all, that's what I've been drinking for the last past two days. And I have a whole lot of these left, y'all. This ain't no promo either, but yeah, if y'all want to do like some detox, do this or either the Teamy Blends. I love Teamy Blends too, y'all. Teamy Blends, I think, is more natural though. I'm not sure. But either way, this is what this is. Now, back to the part where I was talking about getting drunk. <laughs> So, let's show y'all what the wine is today. So, this is the wine that I'm drinking tonight. This is Sutter Holmes Rosé. If y'all decide to get the rosé, baby, just don't get the barefoot. Because the barefoot ain't busting like this one. You gotta get the Sutter Holmes one. But, anyway, I get these from Rite Aid for $2.00. 
two for three or something like that. Sometimes they gonna sell, but I got this from like the little corner store around my house. Around my house, so I'ma just pour this whole thing in a glass, and then I got another wine. Cause girl, we getting we getting a little buzz tonight, girl. Cause the day was hard. The day was hard at work. Okay, it was hard. It was hard. It was hard. So we just gonna pour this whole thing in there just like this. Yup. Every last bit. Make sure we don't leave none. Cause I need all of that. Seriously though, y'all. So yes, if y'all want to try this, make sure y'all get this. And they do come in the big bottles too, but yeah, they be hard to find in the big bottles, y'all. Y'all, I cannot wait. Let's taste. Ah, oh, so delicious, y'all. Cheers. You want some? Do you want some? Don't act like you don't want none. Cheer. Mm. Anyway, what I'm about to show y'all, don't be judging me, even though I don't care, because I'm showing y'all, obviously. But girl, I did not put them clothes away yesterday. <laughs> so y'all look, literally all these clothes, man. So anyway, y'all, I got to fold the clothes that I was supposed to fold yesterday. So y'all remember um, on the vlog yesterday where I told y'all I was about to fold them clothes and they really didn't happen. It ain't go like that, y'all. That was the plan. But see what had happened was I had got tired. <laughs> I really had got tired, y'all, and I was not trying to fold them clothes. So what I did, I wrapped them all together, set them down nice and neat in the cute little area, you know, you know, in the corner somewhere where you cannot see, you know. And then I say, you know what, when I get off of work tomorrow, I'm going to put them away for sure. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to fold these clothes, y'all. And then another thing, too, y'all, hold on, because I keep seeing everybody talk about Euphoria. And I thought Euphoria big came out. I've never seen it before. Have y'all seen it before? I've never seen it before. But I'm hearing mixed reviews about it like i hear a lot of people talking about oh yes yeah, it's a vibe of euphoria 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 right and then i got some people saying it's too triggering or it's a little too much going on um i think it's at least like one or two seasons if i'm not mistaken so it would be something to binge watch but i'm like i don't know i don't Oh, we gonna have to see what Zendaya giving us but in the meantime let's fold these clothes and then y'all we gotta clean my closet because my closet looks crazy y'all I cannot find shit I keep looking for stuff and then I'm wondering where it's at and I can't find it but it's probably cause it's in that junky ass closet and don't mind y'all that's my little sexy robe up there <laughs> <laughs> boom I had to set y'all up you know what I'm saying cause I wanna chat with y'all real quick right so I wanna talk to y'all while I'm folding my clothes because I'm <sighs> Okay, so I follow, like, a few people on, on YouTube or whatever, right, that I like to watch or whatever, right? And I'm not saying no names because it's not, you know, no shots at nobody. But I want to understand, y'all, why is it that every time, like, big YouTubers start, like, growing and stuff or, like, oh, okay, let me let me start from the beginning because my mind is all over the place, y'all. I got so much I want to say, right? So... I was watching, I think it was Be Love. I was watching Be Love because I do a lot of research, y'all, on YouTube. You know how to grow and just a bunch of research, y'all. Always looking at YouTube videos and how I can grow. But anyway, point is, I had looked up tips from Be Love. I know y'all know who Be Love is. Everybody know who Be Love is. If you don't know who Be Love is, then I don't know. You must live under a rock or something. But anyway, point of the matter is she was up there and she was talking about how, um, it's like an old video, y'all. This ain't nothing recent. But she was just saying how, like, if you want to do YouTube, you know, you got to be really strong. You got to make sure that you don't care about what people think about you, which I absolutely 100% agree with. But it was so funny how she was like, yeah, um, when I started out on YouTube, you know, people used to love me. They used to be like, oh my God, like when she was a smaller YouTuber. And she was like, you know, the more that she got bigger, the people wasn't fucking with her. Like they was like talking, like, you know, saying bad stuff, saying mean stuff about her and stuff. And I was just like, yo, it's so crazy how you decide that you want to put your life on social media, right? You make that choice for yourself for whatever reason you, you have, right? But... It's like you you doing it because that's what you want to do. You interested in it. It's exciting. And then it's like people will really try to like like hurt you. Like for real. Like if you're not really strong enough, y'all, to be on like social media in general. <sighs> yeah. Because one thing about me, two things about. Hey, let me tell you something about me. 
I always am grateful for anybody that just decided to subscribe to me. Anybody. I don't care who you are, whether you supporting me or whether you just want to watch me. I don't really care. I appreciate it anyway, right? So, me personally, y'all, I do YouTube for me first. Then I do it for y'all. You know what I mean? But it's for me first because if I don't do it for me first, y'all, I think I would get so tied up in pleasing trying to please everybody and the more you grow on youtube y'all y'all cannot be no people pleasers i'm telling you now because you're gonna have people out here that ain't gonna be they ain't they ain't gonna be fucking with you they ain't gonna be fucking with you but one thing i can say even though i'm not in a shoes right now because i am still a smaller youtuber but i know that i'm gonna grow eventually i'm not in a rush because it will happen on its own time but Baby, I wish they would try to come on my page talking that, that negative shit. Block. You getting blocked. Like, I don't I do not do negativity, y'all. I don't address negativity. I don't even think I've really gotten much negative comments on my channel, to be real. Like, somebody said something about me not knowing how to read. But I took that as, like, I didn't, I brushed that shit off. Like, because I was sure, y'all know my Bath and Body Works halls, y'all. I be trying to name them damn candles and shit sometimes. And your girl don't be knowing how to pronounce some of them damn words. But I never look at it like, oh my god, he said I don't know how to read. Or she said I don't know. Like, I don't get so wrapped up in it, y'all. So, point of the matter is, if y'all do decide that y'all want to do YouTube, just do it. But do it for you first. Like, first and foremost, do it for you. And then, you know what I mean? As time goes on, you know, you're going to have people that support you. And they're going to tell you what they want to see from you. And, you know, you can put out content that is for you. And you put out content for your viewers. But always make sure y'all stay true to yourself. Please don't let people... And it's so easy to say, like, oh, don't let people get to you. But seriously, y'all, if you do it for you and you genuinely proud of what content you put out there, you not being negative, you, you just enjoying yourself. Because when y'all come on my channel, I'm pretty sure y'all be getting... <laughs> Like most of my comments, y'all, people are like, oh my god, you're so funny, you're so funny, you're so funny. But that's just really my my personality, y'all. But at the same time, it's like I don't, I don't, I don't think that I have anything negative really on my channel. Like I don't be up here, you know, talking about no drama or nothing like that. But you know, some people gonna always find something. Somebody gonna find something to say. You know what I mean? But. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, like, brush it off, keep it pushing. Because a lot of people are scared to get on YouTube because, one, they scared to be on the camera. But a lot of people I'm noticing on YouTube are stepping away from YouTube. Like, the big YouTubers, some of them are stepping away from YouTube. They being depressed. It's like, they, I'm like, jeez, y'all kind of scared me. Like, hold on, wait a minute now. Is this, is this what comes with the growth of YouTube? Like, a lot of YouTubers I'm seeing that I used to watch y'all just disappearing. Or either they post, like, once a month. Like, they on other platforms. I don't know, y'all. But, I mean, I'm not intimidated because at the end of the day, that's them. That's their own personal reasons. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to say that real quick because I was just watching that video of B-Love. And I was like, dang, that's so crazy how... I remember when people used to talk about her, like, oh my God, her nails, her she got all them jewels on her nails, she nasty. Like, people used to say so much crazy stuff about B-Love, but that lady always stayed positive from what I saw. Like, the lady said always stay positive, mind her business. Like, I ain't never heard her in no drama. She just eat her seafood, she smacks, she eats, she enjoy her family. Like, I never seen a problem, but people really used to, like, get that lady a hard time, but... One thing about it, one thing I can say about B-Love is that she kept going. Like, she ain't let that shit bother her, and she older. You know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs> let me get another sip of wine, because I was talking too much, y'all. My mouth dry. I might as well drink the rest, right? Shit, this wine tastes so good, I can drink this like it's water. FYI, y'all were not even going to tell me that my hair was sticking up in the back. <laughs> so, I put all my clothes away. Y'all, this might... I don't know. I ain't really think about this. <laughs> I ain't really think about this before I decided to film this. But I think that I'm going to end up having to do this closet clean out or organization thing in, like, sections. Because, y'all, my closet looks crazy i don't even know if y'all can tell but i am not one of those organized girls color coordinated like that's not me y'all like even if i did do that it'd be fucked up in like two days so 
Anyway, I do want to organize, like, you know, the boxes and stuff up there, y'all, because... I got so many shoes. Like, the good thing about it, though, y'all, I did do a closet clean out maybe like a couple months ago, and I got rid of all the shoes that I don't wear. So, a lot of the stuff up there I wear is like sneakers or like sandals and shit. But, y'all, it look crazy. And the summertime is, be is going to be here really, really soon. So, the clothes, I'm not touching the clothes today, y'all. That'll be another, another vlog. <laughs> because we can't we can't do all this in one nah it's gonna be taking too long so what i'm gonna focus on right now y'all is just the boxes at the top just organizing them making it look decent and maybe in like another vlog i show y'all like organizing the clothes because y'all y'all when i tell y'all i just need a bigger closet because i like to shop y'all and y'all will be surprised it's bags back there too with summer clothes and shit in there Y'all got so much stuff in this closet. It's ridiculous. But anyway, um, let's just go ahead and get the organizing. Y'all remember these? Y'all, do y'all remember these? When Rihanna came out with her creepers, girl, these was hot. These were some hot tamales, y'all. And I had to get some. These like the super platform ones, y'all. But I had these for a while. Don't, don't pay attention to how long they is. Because <laughs> y'all, I wear a 10 size big as hell. But... Y'all, I will never get rid of my creepers. I love Rihanna, and I don't care if they played out, y'all. I'm not getting rid of my creepers. So, the box is kind of already messed up. So, we kind of just going to throw it in there. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all, I'm, I'm kind of low-key scared to do this video because these boxes be falling on my head sometimes. So, pray for me, y'all. One pair down. 60 more to go. I don't know how many pair of shoes I got, y'all, but... Maybe I should have started from over there in the corner. Maybe that would have been smarter. Oh! 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, that's why I didn't want to do this shit. <laughs> this is... <laughs> hold on, y'all. This shit is... Man, this stuff about to knock me down, man. God damn why I decided to do this shit today. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! baby no creases baby fresh all whites yeah i don't even wear these y'all i'm hot as a motherfucker god damn i don't know if it's that one or i feel like i did a lot already i'm thinking about doing like three each so that it's not like real high to the ceiling even though i do got like high ceilings but we're gonna do like three each i'm doing my sneakers first and then i'm put my shoes and like heels which i don't have a lot of heels y'all but if i got any heels i'm gonna put them down that way and like sandals down that way so this is the best it's gonna get okay i got shoes right there shoes back there go all the way down Whew. anyway y'all we'll do a part two some other time i don't know what vlog but we'll tackle the clothes another time but we got the shoes situated and yeah, y'all, that's really much it for the closet clean out or organization because I ain't doing nothing else right now. I'm tired. I'm hot. I need a shower. And yeah. Before I close out the vlog, I do want to show y'all something that I just got, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited because this is something that I have always used and I had to say rest in peace because if y'all know, y'all know, if you watch me, you already know what happened to it but we back with a new one okay so i have a new air fryer now i don't know if this air fryer is as good as the one that i had before because the one i had before y'all it had like the buttons on there to tell you how to cook the fish the potatoes the french fries etc 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 this one got little buttons on there too which i'm gonna do an unboxing for y'all but i got this from bed bath and beyond i think i paid like 50 dollars so I'm excited y'all like I'm so fucking excited like I don't think y'all understand how easy it is to cook food with an air fryer so let's unbox it yes I am so excited y'all I don't think y'all understand so the last air fryer I had somebody told me that you're supposed to put like 
the little filters in there so that it don't mess up the air fryer. I don't know if that was the reason why mine's like burnt out, but we're going to see, y'all. We're going to see. We're going to see. Oh, this one is way smaller than the one um, that I had. So, I do like the fact that it got like recipes and stuff that you can put in there. I don't need that because I'm a pro at cooking, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just throw it in the damn air fryer. It's not that hard. So, yeah. Ooh. -hoo. Yes. This chain is little compared to the one I had before. I mean, I'm grateful, but this chain little. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. But, oh my goodness, look how look. <laughs> hey yo, this one is little compared to the one I had before. And where is the buttons at? Maybe you pause a, let's plug it up. Cause I thought it was supposed to be buttons on here. Okay, so it do got buttons on there. I just can't put that much in there, but it got little buttons and stuff. Like, uh -huh. I don't know. I put something in there tomorrow when I make like breakfast or something. But otherwise, y'all, yeah, this is the air fryer that I got. If y'all want this air fryer, I'll put it in the description box below. I'm not opening all of this, y'all, because it's kind of self-explanatory. So, yeah. So, that is it for this vlog, y'all. I'm going to get in the shower, pull me my second glass of wine, relax, chill out. i see y'all in my next vlog. Peace.